Hey, buddy. Carry here back with some more Pokemon Sword on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, last time we evolved Urshifu and defeated the Tower of Water. And now I am heading to the Forest of Focus. Oh my god. To um, meet what's his face over there. I forget his name. Um, Hop. There you go. How's it going? We need to find some sort of food item to help Urshifu Gigantamax, right? Finally, I've been waiting forever. I thought I thought Glimmer Tangle was a real maze, but this place is on an entirely different level. And it's so hot and humid that I'm sweating a pond over here. Sonia and I split up places to survey, and she opted for the cold and snow and all. Too bad we can't somehow divide this heat up between us two. We'd both feel a bit better. Anyway, I was checking out this Forest of Focus place while I was waiting for you to show up. And I saw signs that Lilligant and Applin live here. Maybe we can gather a bit of sweet nectar that Urshifu should love from their flowers and fruit. Okay. Um. Oh, hey, there's an Amalga. I don't think I have one of those. Alright. What's up? Who the heck is this person? Look, it's a Petalil. Petalil evolves into Lilligant, which is just the Pokemon we're looking for. Peh. Hey, doesn't that Petalil seem to be acting a bit strange? It looks sort of sad. Yeah, now that you mention it, it's still pretty little. Maybe it got separated from its parents. Ah. It's adorable. Whoa! Who are you glomming on to, mate? You really must be lost if you think I'm your mom. And now I'm stuck. Okay. You've got to help us out here. Go find us one of Petalil's parents or something, would you? Look for some worried-looking Lilligant. I'll wait here with this little one. I'm afraid I'll step on it if I keep walking around. Alright. Uh, bird? What I do with these Twitch streams is I actually edit all of the footage to make it into actual episodes for gameplay walkthroughs that I do on YouTube. So the link is on my Twitch bio if you want to check out my uh, YouTube channel. But yeah, I just edit all this footage to make it an actual gameplay walkthrough for YouTube. Alright, so what I have to do now is look for a Lilligant that's lost or it looks a bit like scared or something so um let's see what I could do there you go this is it okay what's up Lilligant? Lily? have you lost a pedalo? Lilligant! Okay. Wants to follow you. Lead it to where Hop and Petalil are waiting. Will do. Okay. Um, I might as well go back the way I came, right? So I don't get lost in this forest. Um, I think I go this way now. I think I'm already lost. Okay, there we go. Oh, you brought Lilligant? Or no, you definitely did not. Did you lose it along the way? Go find it. Alright, I lost it. I was not paying attention at all. Alright, see you, Bird Flemage. Thanks so much for hanging out. Huh, this Lilligant. Maybe I was just going too fast. Alright, I guess I was just going too fast. Let's go. You walk too slow, man. Look at this! <laughs> 
You walk way too slow. No wonder you fell behind. Is this normally how Lilligant walks? Just normally how slow it walks? I'm just taking slow steps forward. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Up the stairs we go. Little again. Come on. Here we go. Finally, and you found Lilligant. <laughs> Looks like they're both pretty happy to see each other. What'd you think? I'd say Lilligan is trying to thank you. Huh? Is this some of the nectar from your flower, Lilligan? Oh my god, that's a huge wave. See ya, Petalil. See ya, Lilligant. Nice one. Now we've got some of Lilligant's nectar. Hopefully this nectar is sweet and sticky, just like Urshifu, Urshifu likes it. Slurp? Hmm. I definitely wouldn't call it very sticky. It's pretty watery. I don't think this is what you need, mate, but at least we did a good deed anyway. Come on, let's give Apollon's nectar a try next. Okay. Let's go look for an applin. So he ran in this direction. I'm assuming I need to go in this direction. To look for an applin. There's a lot of winding pathways. I don't know if I'm going the right way anymore. Found a great ball. Okay. Uh, which way am I supposed to go? Oh, uh, here we go. App? There you go. There, it's an applin. App away! Yep, that's totally how it sounds. Ah, uh, it rolls. Cool, I've never seen that before. Never seen it roll before. Applin, no, wait! This is rotten. I don't see the Applin anywhere. Boy, I sh I'm sure it went rolling off this way. We've got to find the Applin. I'm assuming it's in the tree. It's got to be in the tree, right? Yeah. It's an apple. Huh? Something wrong with that berry tree? Ouch, the applin clocked you right on the head. Okay. Ah, oh, it ran up again. Huh? Uh, Kiara, is your head feeling a bit moist? Let's got the applin's nectar on you. It might have given us the slip, but at least we still got what we came for. But is applin's nectar sweet enough for Urshifu? Well, like they say, the proof is in the pudding. Or the applin, so let's give it a try. Slurp. Hmm. I don't think you describe it as sticky exactly. It's more like juice or something. L Lilligan's nectar wasn't it. Applin's nectar wasn't it. They weren't really sticky enough to be the sticky honey that Urshifu loves. Come to think of it, they aren't really honey at all, are they? I was thinking nectar and honey were the same thing, so I was looking for plants and flowers. But was I just barking up the wrong tree? 
Oh, do we have to follow you? Whoa, a venipede. I don't see one of those every day. It's cute looking, right? But it can produce a really thick, gooey poison inside its body, making it pretty dangerous. The that's it! I was stuck on Pokemon that produced nectar, but what we really need is a Pokemon that uses that sort of nectar to produce something else. Something like honey? Yes. And when it comes to Pokemon that collect and store up lots of nectar to make honey, well, the answer's obvious, right? Um, Beehive Pokemon. The Beehive Pokemon has got to be the answer. I'm sure of it this time. And Vespaquin is the Beehive Pokemon, right? Have you ever seen one? I don't think so. If we're talking about the Isle of Armor, I think we should find some on the island shaped like a honeycomb over near that big blue tower. Now that we know where we're going, I'm off. Don't make me wait. There's an island shaped like a honeycomb? I never noticed that. Okay. Um. Oh, this one. Obviously, right? I think I have noticed that before, but... But yet I didn't. Alright. So the island shaped like a honeycomb is going to be back here somewhere. Oh, here we go with Sharpedo. Sharpedo's coming my way. I see it. I see it coming. I feel it coming. Alright. Let's see, where am I at? Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I went the complete wrong way. Alright, let's turn. Turn around, I think it's this way. Aw. Oh, I was hoping to um, escape, but I didn't really escape, so. Oh well. Alright, Urshifu. Uh, let's use close combat. Here comes another one. Oh my god. Okay. And there's another one. Why are there so many Sharpedos in this ocean, huh? <laughs> I completely just straight up dodged it. Did you guys see that? I don't really want to battle you guys right now. Dang it. I don't really want to battle them right now. Alright. I guess they're giving me experience, but still. I don't really want to battle them. Alright, let's go. Uh, where am I going exactly? Wait, where am I supposed to go? Is it over here? This is it, right? Yeah, here we go. Honeycomb Island. I think is supposed to be it. Here we go. There you are. I got you could finally make it. I've seen loads of combi around, but no sign of Vespaquin so far. But they're the ones that have the sticky honey. Huh? I borrowed a powder... A powder? A power spot detector from Sonia, but why is it going off now? Is it reacting to this tree here? Something's gotta be up. I think we should check it out. Sure. There's a cloying smell of thick, rich honey coming from the top of the tree. Will you shake it? Sure.
What's happening now? Beep, 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 beep. Oh my god, what the heck is happening with that tree? <laughs> oh my god, look at my face. I look terrified. Whatever it is that came from the tree sucks you into the Pokemon den. Wait, I'm in a Pokemon den? Oh my gosh. Okay, I was not expecting this. Okay, I'm not starting with the right Pokemon. But, I mean, sure. And Hop can't even join me? Are you kidding? Alright. Uh, I guess I could try to Dynamax... Urshifu, I guess. Since I haven't seen it before. I mean, it's just bigger, but, like, I haven't... Haven't Dynamaxed him before, so I guess I could do that. It's on, Vespa Quinn. It's on. Alright, Urshifu. Use Max Airstream! Pretty good, pretty good. It's super effective. And it was a critical hit, too. Max Knuckle. Okay. Let's try another Max Airstream. Okay, halfway done. She's halfway there. Acrobatics. Yep. Okay, that was super effective. It's fine. It's cool. We're good. Okay. Uh, let's go with Eternatus with that flamethrower. Alright, let's go. Flamethrower. Do it. Okay, not bad. Acrobatics, that did a lot of damage, but it's fine. Flamethrower. What was that? Nullify the stat changes? Okay. Max airstream. Whoa. <laughs> that was big. Okay. Um, I'm going to try a Dynamax Cannon because it is my most powerful attack. Take this, Vespa Quinn. Boom. Explode. The aftershocks of the battle caused a strange comb of honey to fall from above. You obtained a comb of max honey. Honey that Dynamax Vespaquin produces. Adding this honey to max soup makes the taste very smooth. It also has the same effect as a max revive. I sure wasn't expecting Dynamax Vespaquin to come swooping out to attack us. I was too shocked to even think of joining you in the battle. Thanks, Hop. Thanks a lot. That is some seriously sticky honey. I'm sure it's a certain something Urshifu loves. And it seems like that honey was setting off my power spot detector too. The max mushrooms and this honey you can find here on the Isle of Armor. They both seem to have some kind of tie to Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing. There's tons we don't know yet about it. So there's tons of research just waiting to be done. Come on, you, you got the thing you were looking for, so let's head back to the dojo at once. Alright. I will do that. That is the wrong button. Or the wrong thing. I do not want to click that. Let's head back to the dojo. I don't know why I teleported over here. I did see the arrow. Or I mean the flag. On this point. 
in the map. But uh, the the flag was supposed to be on the dojo, and it was not. So I was very confused. Anyways, let's just go into the dojo. Let's see what we have to do about this Max Honey. Welcome back, my wandering Wulu. Oh, and what is that sweet scent I detect wafting through the air around you? <laughs> That'd be the Max Honey that Urshifu loves to to the max. We got our hands on a nice haul of it. Did you now, already? You put me and Kiara on it, old man. There's nothing the two of us can't do together. You did a real bang-up job job finding that max honey with hardly a hint from me very nicely done and our little hop too you didn't forget for a second what that certain something was did you if we add max honey to our max soup even our shifu will be sure to want a sip well it's been real kiara but but i think you've learned just about everything the master dojo has to teach you which means that you and I can finally have a proper battle with absolutely no holding back. I could use a bit of training if I'm going to be ready for what's to come, after all. I won't be pulling any punches this time, kiddo, if you think you're really ready for me when I'm serious and come to the battle court out back. Ooh. Have I ever been able to enter through that door? I don't think I've ever been able to enter that. Battling the master when he's serious, that's seriously terrifying. He's the one who taught Lee all he knows, so Muster's got to be one wicked strong trainer. Of course he is. Steal your spirit for serious battle. I guess I'd better start getting serious about the research I came here to do, too. Good luck with your things. I'm sure he'll manage like you always do. I'll come dashing right back to catch that battle, though, if you do try taking on Master Mustard. Okay. Well, I need to um, heal real quick. And I think also switch out two of my Pokemon to be stronger Pokemon. If I'm going to do like a full battle with Master Mustard. Let me see. Um, Since he's going to be at his full strength. So I feel like I should switch my Pokemon. Should I try these two? I mean... What better way to try them than in this battle with Master Mustard, right? I thought I wouldn't ever use them. And I still might not. They're like my last resources. If I have to, then I'll use those two. Let's see. What could I do over here? Max Honey and Max Mushrooms. Um, yep. I want to give it to Urshifu. It will become capable of Gigantamaxing. I'll use three clusters of Max Mushrooms and one comb of Max Honey to make Max Soup. Is that alright? Sure. It's now capable of Gigantamaxing. Cool. I wanted to make sure I look at that when I um enter this battle. So let's see what happens. I'm just walking past him. Wow, you're eager to get the battle started. Come on, though. Have a chat with me first. Okay, sorry. Are you ready for another battle with the little me? <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Then let's mosey on over to the background. Or, what? Okay, the battleground. You know, I've been thinking more and more these days about how fortunate we were to have you join the dojo. Even if it was by mistake at first. I can't thank you enough. It's been a while since I've been so excited. I can feel my blood, my blood burning and my heart just dancing with anticipation. I just can't resist battle against a worthy opponent no matter how old I get. Now then. Let's get things going. This is the most fun, uh, the most fun time in the whole world. Oh, here he goes. He's getting serious. He's getting serious now. Dojo Master Mustard. Me and Chow. Okay. Uh -huh. 
It's been a while since I faced such a, yo a strong opponent. My blood's boiling over. Time to see exactly what all this training has made of you. Ooh, it's at level 73. Tough. That is really tough. Fake out? Come on now. That's cheap. Wahaha, <laughs> 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 seems like victory smiles on me today. I'm just like, that's cheap. Alright, Ariel Ace, go. Close combat. Wow. Okay, you are strong. I don't think I could drag you down to max. Like, I wanted to test its strength to see if it's even worth it. And I don't think it is. To Gigantamax. Aha, I see you've got your fundamentals down pat. But that alone won't cut it. Okay, that's one down. Let's see how this goes. Corviknight. Uh, yeah, I'll switch. Corviknight is a flying steel, I believe. So, um... Let's go with Eternatus. Alright. Let's go flamethrower. Okay. Really good, really good. Light screen? Sure. Doesn't do anything to me. And then I could just easily defeat you. Nice. Homo or is that a dragon? I think this is a dragon type. Um Here, you know what? I'm gonna stick with the Turnitus. If it's a dragon, then hopefully I could go first, because this should be super effective. Boom. Wow, that only did half damage. Clangorous soul. Okay. Raises your attack and your defense and your special attack and your special defense and your speed. <laughs> and you take damage. Okay, that's interesting. Took a lot of damage. Okay. Well, that move did not even matter. Because you're fainted. Okay. Luxray. Um, let's keep current Pokemon. I could defeat a Luxray with Eternatus. Dynamax Cannon. Okay, that did not do as much as I wanted it to, but it's fine. Alright, that's super effective. Let that be a reminder, a single slip could cost you everything. Okay, uh, let's try cross poison. Oh, nice, you got poison, that's what I wanted to happen. Psychic fangs. Alright, get poisoned. Poison damage. Okay. You're in the red. <laughs> Sorry. I had to sneeze. Alright. Nicely done. What Pokemon is that? Number three or number four? I don't remember. Lycanroc. Um, let's go with... Zacian. Okay. Lycanroc, come 
come at me. I'm doing a close combat. Nice. Um, Urshifu? My skills are only getting sharper. Try not to get captivated by my might. Alright, Urshifu. Close combat. Now, become the gigantic fist that breaks your opponent as one would smash through a something. <laughs> I did not see what he said. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. That's Gigantamax? Wow. Looks different. Okay. Looks terrifying. It's fine. I could handle it. Like that. Boom. <laughs> Look at that damage. Wow. Okay. Max Knuckle. Okay. Pretty powerful. It raises your attack. Did you guys see how much damage I did in one hit though? That was crazy. Easy. Strength ebbs and flows and... Wait, what? One moment you grasp on the next slips on your hand. Sorry, I did not read what he said. But the strength that you now have, the strength that let you defeat me, it is unwavering. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. Wow. I held absolutely nothing back, and yet you still defeated me. The apprentice surpasses her master. A true moment of pride for the master. You deserve a very special lead card from me. Okay. It seems I will have to redo my own training from scratch. Oh, darling, did I hear right? You actually lost? Ah, so y'all came. You know, I can't resist seeing you get all serious about battle, you cheeky thing. You look utterly dashing, darling. Oh, but look at me getting all distracted. You are amazing. Looks like we'll need to have some max soup tonight to celebrate. I knew you weren't just a new student. I think I'll call you Master Newbie from now on. Well, I'm not surprised one bit. I knew you'd win. And you're fabulous too, Urshifu. Um, Kiara. I, I just, well, I guess I should congratulate you. But I won't. Why should I celebrate anything you do, huh? Still, that cleared up a lot. You're strong enough to beat the Master going all out. I never stood a chance. But the next time I face you, I'll take you on fair and square, and I won't lose. You'll see. I don't think I'll lose. You're downright infuriating, you know that? Almost as bad as I am. Well, at least she's aware of her own flaws. Well, that wraps up the last of the training here at the Master Dojo. Oh, back to normal, huh, Master? Kiara, I hope you'll come by and have more battles with me from time to time. It'll make us both stronger. Just so we're ready for when the time comes. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You'll find out what I'm talking about eventually. Anyway, let's all head back, shall we? Like one big family. Yeah! Wow. So is that the end? Did I do it? The end. Look what it says there. It says the end. All right, what's up next? Can't believe you beat the master even when he was serious. Kiara, yeah, you might be able to tackle this dojo's most grueling type of training ever. Restricted sparring. If you have the courage to try it, let me know. 
What? Okay. Restricted sparring. So that's that's something new. Do I have to heal? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, shall I go check out what restricted sparring is? That's different. Let's see. Select the type you want to use for sparring. Okay. Uh, I didn't even look at the rules, but I'm going to choose a type, I guess. Let us go with... Dark. I'm going to go with my party. Oh. I have too many Pokemon, what? Huh, okay. You know what, maybe I should look at the rules first. <laughs> maybe I should look at the rules, let me see. Tell me how it works. Restricted Sparring is a training course that restricts the type of Pokemon you can use. Select the type first, and then battle using up to three Pokemon of that type. No duplicate Pokemon or items are allowed. If you can win five times in a row, you'll complete the training. However, if you lose even once, the sparring will end there. You can restore your Pokemon between battles, but only twice in total, so use opportunities very wisely. Huh. Okay, that's weird. So... Okay, let's just go with normal. I could only... do... three Pokemon. Let me see. So... Could only have three Pokemon. Wait, does it have to be of the? Here, I guess I'll keep Zerud. Does it have to be normal type Pokemon, or am I fighting normal type Pokemon? I'm confused. <laughs> what is it supposed to be? I don't know. Type null. Thievil. Let's go with High Dragon. I was trying to look for like really powerful Pokemon in level. Just so I could like check this out. I don't know what's gonna happen. One or more of your Pokemon. Okay, so yeah, it has to be um normal types. That's what I'm figuring out. Okay. Um. You know what? I don't want to do this. <laughs> I'm just like, you know what? I don't want to do this. It's about time for me to end the episode. Um, you guys, I'd say that is a finish. To the Isle of Armor DLC. What do you guys say? That is totally everything except restricted sparring. But normally, I don't even do stuff like that. So don't yell at me, guys. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that was the end of the Isle of Armor DLC. Uh, come back next time. I think I'll be checking out the Crown Tundra. Um, or I'll be trying to complete the Pokédex for Isle of Armor. I'm not sure yet, but next time, there'll be a whole lot more Pokemon. So, thank you guys so much for watching this gameplay walkthrough. I hope to see you guys in the Crown Tundra.